Okay, we're back. Welcome to Queer Play. I'm Anita and I have solved all of my laggy issues as best, as truly best I can. Um, yeah, so if you've never, uh, if you're coming back after the failed 10 minutes of my previous thing, welcome. If you've never watched Queer Play before, also welcome. Uh, we are an intersectional LGBTQIA plus uh, platform so that queer folks, um, women of color, people of color, and women, all of them, uh, and allies have a place to, a safe space to engage with uh, gaming content. So um, today I'm playing part two of my Tacoma stream. Um, as a quick recap, I am in this spaceship uh, here to investigate something that has gone wrong. Uh, I'm watching these AR scenes play out from the uh, previous occupants of this ship that are nowhere to be found. Um, and what I've learned so far is they were hit by a, a meteor or an asteroid of some sort. Um, they really did not think anyone was going to come help them, so they have started uh, a plan to hopefully escape with their lives. We also discovered last time that there was a cat on board, and I, I am taking it very personally to figure out where this cat went, and if it's okay, and if I can adopt it if its owner has died. Um, so we're in this area here. Uh, I was in botany in the last stream, so I'm going to go into medical and see what's going on in here. There is a. There was an AR scene that went on. I'm gonna restart it. Let's see. Okay. So people. All right. Let's just follow these folks around. Okay, Sarah. We'll see you over in Mech. As soon as everything's wrapped up here. All right. Good speed. Once more into the breach. Okay. Let me see. This desk. Top. Message with Odin. Isn't having more data available to the pilot desirable? Lots of scrambles. Um, that seems boring. Ooh, emergency in effect. Cryogenic facilities active. Two of six cryopods occupied. Interesting. Oxygen supply approximately 50 hours. It's a bug. Um, I think it said this was two days ago. So they had about kind of 48 hours ago until I arrived. Uh, wow, okay, so I am assuming Evie is one of the people in the cryopods if her thing says this user is offline. Failed. Failed. Okay. What? No, I, I'm just thinking about how Evie and Clive are already in deep freeze. Did you read the message they sent? Yeah. Why are we going into the supply closet? I got to talk to them a little bit right before Sarah took them down to cryo, and Evie was being so encouraging. They're putting all their faith in us, but... But what? Right before they turned to go, just for a second, so worried. Oh, baby. The clock is ticking. And I just keep thinking, what if the last time they saw each other is the last time they'll ever see each other? Don't think about that. How can I? How can you not think about it? So, you know the concept of partitioning from early century computing? Yeah, I think so. So, you have a day to drive. Maybe one partition was your operating system, and the other one was like general data storage. And maybe you'd partition part of the drive off to contain something that might be unstable, that you otherwise kind of, yes. you know, wanted not to interfere with anything else. There are certain things that are going to help us get this done, but some things, they need to be partitioned off. Because thinking about them isn't going to help us. But... 
you're thinking about us, at least, aren't you? Yeah. And when I do let myself start thinking about how there's a possibility this is the last of our time together, too. Matt? Then I start thinking we should really make the most of it. <laughs> wow. Very scandalous, but they are about to die, so they can do their thing. Okay. Um, secure medical storage position, access only, physical locking device, engaged. May I open it? No, I need a key. Um, Alright, I feel done in here. And restart. Okay, Sarah. We'll see you over in Mech. As soon as everything's wrapped up here. Alright. Good speed. Oh, Odin. Did I do the right thing? No, I wanted in to see that. In what regard? Does Nat des deserve to know? The doctor is out. Let me see. Let me oh, see. Oh, Odin. Did I do the right thing? Oh my god. In what re thing? I scream. Oh, Odin. Did I do the right thing? Okay. <clears throat> to everyone left awake on Tacoma Station, I've added a tracking widget to all crew desktop. It displays a pretty accurate estimate of how much breathable air remains on the station. Following the algae bloom, and Evie and Clive going into cryo, that counter should give you a pretty good blah blah blah. Okay. 50 hours. Failed. Failed. Cleared for cryo. If God forbid something into the pods. Okay, sent these instructions to Evie and Clive before they went in. Medical staff will scan you, blah blah blah. Diuretics and laxatives, fun. Well, seems just In what regard? scary. Does Nat deserve to know what her odds are if she ends up going into cryo? I believe that you have made a decision with both Roberta and Natalie's best interests at heart. Above all, do no harm. If we do make it out of this thing, Nat's going to have to find out I didn't tell her everything at some point. What? I believe that is a bridge you crossed at a later date. Andrew is here for his exam. Oh. Uh. Send him in. So you showed up for your exam? I did. So does that mean you've decided to... What's gonna happen to us, Sarah? What? Um... Well, Bert and Matt are going to fix up the drone with life support and, and then we're... No. I mean... What if things don't work out? And we're still stuck in cryo? Oh. Well, when you go into stabilizing sleep, it feels just like any other sleep, really. The body effectively goes into a controlled hypothermic coma. Do you dream? Sometimes. Sometimes very intense dreams. And then what? After a certain amount of time, your body slows down too much, things start shutting down. It, uh... It doesn't hurt. No. <laughs> Sad. Do you think Bert and Nat can get it done? I do. Then I'll just have to trust your professional opinion. It's been good working with you, Doc. I'm ready for my exam. Okay, what is this? Oh, fantastic. Temperate rainforest is nice. 
want to know what's up with, like, this medical thing about Nat. Is this on her? Graduation. Okay. Remember that reminder phrase. Get out of here. Close this. Go away. To remind you that while well, passing anymore. I'll take the renewal, thanks. Okay, graduation. Don't forget it. Johns Hopkins. Congratulations. Books. There is nothing else in here. Go back out here. Imaging. Here we go. Oh. I read that diploma. Crew member Roberta Wil Williams. Healthy, healthy, healthy. No problems with cryogenic stuff. Stasis or revival. Great. 27 years old. I'm gonna look at Nat last because I feel like we're gonna be shocked. Keep the suspense. A happy boy. Okay. No cryogenic stasis risk factors. 41 years old. Here we go. What's her deal? Sad body. She has a heart murmur. Not recommended for cryogenic stasis. Oh no. That's sad. Maybe she's okay though. Who knows? Signs point to everybody had a bad time, so. Uh. Okay. Not trying to wash my hands because that shit's loud. Let's go in here. Okay. Jesus. So rude. Put your keys in the bucket, sit on a table lasers in your brain. Uh, oh shit! What the fuck? Is that a real ass skeleton? That's scary as hell. Well, we found Tacoma's one jump scare. Wasn't really that scary. I want these. Very sensitive medical records in the trash. Nope, now there's a stethoscope down there. That's mine, also. I feel like I have looked at everything in here. Is that true? Oh, wait, there was a thing up here. You thought I forgot about it. It's just a window, though, right? It's just a dumb window. I think. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, medical storage. This was the exam facility. Now we'll go into the personal quarters. It's very important that I keep this latex club with me at all times. Let's see it. Oh no, I dropped my... Oh, I dropped... Oh, I'm still holding my glove. Great. Three 
three months ago. Listen to the radio head? What is this? End of feed. Cool. What did what information did she request? Functioning if there had been anything wrong with her that people might not have known about. Malfunctioning. <laughs> Thank you again to all my eggheads. I love Egg a Day Odyssey to the Stars. Holy shit, is this my blog? This is my blog. Um, okay. This music is loud, and I feel a little bit assaulted by it. a key I needed, right? For that. <laughs> okay, so I guess I can't really be holding that glove because then I can't pick things up. No, how do I? I forget how to. I forget how to play it. Okay. That's boring. I find that that's boring to me. It's this. Oh, people didn't want your orchids, bro? That's, um, too bad. Yes. What's this book? Oh, Book of Changes. Seems like she was maybe going through some stuff she needed to read about. Need really need to look inward. What's this button on the floor? Oh, that's handy. No, open it. Open it again. Whoa. Oh, you can do that. That's hard. That's hard too. She seems chill. I think probably now I can crash and open the drawer because I'm not holding that glove anymore. The things you learn when playing. Is there a key in here? Uh, nail polish. Chocolates. Gum. <laughs> Throw it on the ground. A card. Throw it over there. With love. Thank you for doing this Ramadan. I hope you're celebrating in your own way up there as well. May these help you break your fast. Look forward to your next visit. Please give yourself permission to relax every once in a How cute. Send some tasty chocolates. Oh, I need to not be crouching anymore. Okay, I came in from here. And... The bathroom is here. Why is the AI symbol on that? Freaky. Where's the key, though? There is a key that I want. I think. I 
think there's a key that I want. Well, this keeps <laughs> freaking me out, so I'm gonna turn it off. If it will let me. Thank you. Ah, jeez. Oops. Sorry. I... I didn't break it. Okay. I'm late. Maybe, um... Gosh. <clears throat> Unless I have to get the key from some other... Oh, well, let me check in here just in case. Again, if I missed it. There is another glove right here. But we learned that's not smart for me to have. Mm. Mm. That's how you unlock it, right? I mean, do I need anything in there? Who am I trying to rescue with medical supplies? Not anybody on this ship. They're all dead, probably. Alright, well, I'm... Gonna leave, I guess. So... Stronger you means a stronger us. That's... Because capitalism, they don't want you to be sick because then you can't be a means of production for them. Stay woke, people. <sighs> okay, I mean, I feel like I should have been finding this key, and I didn't. But did I look hard enough? Obviously not. Dumb. <laughs> Dumb dummy. Uh, okay, well I can't pick up that notebook, so. Sometimes you just gotta know that you fucked something up and not rest until you figure out what it was. Okay. Do I have to crouch to put the key in? I really would hate that. Just papers? Uh, time surgery, fractured femur. Oh. Ooh, interesting. The fault lay not in the human error, but in the faulty judgment of Venturis's medical AI. Heka? Hika? Following these claims and the lack of refutation by OSEP's investigation, investor confidence in the reliability of Venturis' AI offerings declined to sharply and hasn't fully recovered since. Dr. Hosmati was transferred off of the Foundation. Hmm. Okay. Just snort some of this real quick. What's that? A skull? This bitch is crazy. Just leaving bones around all, all over the place? So... I do just want to now be a little bit annoying and go back and read her messages from that... thing, just to get a little extra context for that situation. Classified by, by Venturis. Wonder if Nat could get it. So what did she ask for? Cool. 
Yeah, so I guess she just wanted to know if this AI killed the person or if she did. That's heavy, man. Um, okay. I'm pretty sure... No, there's something I've missed. Ugh. Green boy? I think it's the green boy. Okay, Sarah. I'll see you over and back. As soon as everything's wrapped up here. Alright. Good speed. Once more into the breach. What? I don't know. I, I'm just thinking about Evie and Clive are already in deep freeze. Did you read the message they sent? Yeah. Whoa, what's that? Just more fucking windows I can open and close? Oh, what are you looking Odin, at? Odin, is Sarah ready for me? Man, oh man. Man, oh man. Jeez Louise. That's... Very bleak. Trying to zoom in this part of human life. Whew. No air supply in the system, no onboard controls at all, and there's not enough radiation shielding for human passengers. Okay, good luck putting humans in that. Dear crew, I'd rather not be writing this. Okay, so those two are in cryo. We knew that. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I will tell her that you are here. Sad. Okay. I caught everything, so... I'm gonna leave. And I think I'm now... Big Red Arrow. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Odin appears mentally intact, just dormant. We're close to having a full picture of the data structure. Okay, I'm taking it. Turn the AI's physical processing medium. The latter requirement is of the highest priority. Okay, engineering. Let's go. Green. Gloves are green. Foot is green. What sort of advertisement are they going to show me today? Same. Same one. Newlyweds. New perspectives. So, engineering 
there's docking, uh, cryogenics, which I almost certainly will go to last, personnel I already went to, and then observation is... I have not been to observation, but it didn't tell me to go there, but do I care? <sighs> it's out of order, but I... Do it. Okay. Three days ago is like I've been seeing shit from three days ago, so. So you really miss it, huh? Well, it just seems like it'd be strange being back on Earth already after only a year up here. Really? After all I've had to hear from you about the conditions VT has us working under? Yeah, but there's that. And then there's this. Yeah, I, I'll miss it. <laughs> I can't blame you. So, whether you're getting renewed or not, did you submit your yearly crew member report? No. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Yeah, I think I might go get that done. Okay, yeah. I probably should too. Oh my god, wait. Is today obsolescence day? Yeah. Didn't Odin give you a job to do? No. <laughs> a computer playing favorites. I mean, one doesn't ever cease. I was probably supposed to see that, like, as one of the first things, but... Not me. Okay. Here we go. hand, green foot. Can't lose. Hmm. I would love to live in an orbital vacation bungalow. Looks very nice. Just saying. IJS, you know? Question mark? A structure. Almost there, be careful with that Odin break. <laughs> I missed it. This is H again, okay bye. It has more mental processing power than Luxembourg. Seriously though, don't drop it. Okay. Network technology or mechanical engineering. This one looks fucked up. Let's go in here. Yes, I can't. Cannot. Great. Decision made. Operation Moonshot Status Board. 18 hours ago. Jesus. Okay. Evie, Clive, and Andrew are in cryo. Nat, manual control software ready. Installing into drone. Bert. Drone life support and manual control hardware ready. Powering up drone. Sarah. Standing by as medical support for cryo procedures. Odin. Doing AI stuff. <sighs> the cat's name is Margaret Catwood. Which is... Ridiculous. Okay. But... 
So here's what I'm saying. They... The people are gone. And, like, we're, we see the cat a, AR situation. But there's no... She... They... She didn't take her cat into cryo? That's fucked. Is the cat just, like, roaming around? With no oxygen? They're probably sleeping somewhere. They just let this cat die. Which is terrible. Okay, let's find out what's happening. Maybe. Jeez. Uh, I'll catch up with you. Okay. Earlier, when you decided to withdraw oh, okay. information from yeah, Ethel about her medical scan, that was to avoid causing her undue stress. Right. Why in case the crew does not survive? Ooh, she's like... kind of freaking out because... She probably killed somebody before. More humane to expire peacefully in cryo sleep than to asphyxiate on a dead station. That's true, though. This was my own decision made of sound mind, and that I take all responsibility. Well, she's just trying to not to get her boyfriend AI in trouble. So, but she's doing the right thing. I agree with that decision. So take my time and let you know I'm ready to go to cryo. Ready now. Hmm. <laughs> Lots of people in your shoes would have just said, fuck this guy, I don't have time for this. And took the station admin on me. Well, that's nice. To sleep, perchance to dream. Aye, there's the rub. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come. It's a little cliche, but people when they're dying, what, do you, what can you say? Oh, this caps lock. <laughs> Never got me gene filtered before I was born. What's okay? Really, just still kind of having fun, little. What if you were banter. unable to make that choice? Before you die. If you had no choice. Odin? I would like to take this opportunity to remind you that Standard Venturus Corporation safety protocol requires all crew to enter cryogenic sleep immediately upon the loss of primary oxygen supply. What? Uh, I... As Tacoma Station's medical officer, it is within your power to order all crew to enter cryogenic sleep. Odin, Nat and Bert are right in the middle of... <laughs> oh no. Sarah, there is a fire suppression device... Wait, you run too fast. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Are you okay? Can you feel your feet and your hands? Sarah, please listen carefully. I am not telling you what to do, but I am mentioning that there is a door in the network technology module that is normally inaccessible to the crew, and it is true that you could, before proceeding to cryo, investigate that door. What are you telling me here, Odin? I have told you all that I can. Simple facts, nothing more. Oh my god, Odin. Are my patients stable? Yes. Your conditions won't degrade if I leave them here? They should not. Nat, is there some door in networking that we can't normally get into? Uh, yeah, it's Odin's hardware compartment, but 
We're not allowed direct access. Why? Where is it? Uh, what have you got on your mind, Doc? Please, I I'm sorry. That fire just burned up a lot of our time. Uh, 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 here. It's, um, it's, it's here. In networking. You'll have to go through the maintenance shaft to get there. Here. Here's the technical access code. Okay. 0809. You don't let her go to sleep. And you don't let her move. Sarah, what's going on? I wish I knew. I'm gonna go find out. Okay. Shit's getting crazy. Network technician interface. Okay, so uh Ventures automated delivery drone, no human entry. Let's check out what happened here. But first I'm stuck. Catch up with you. Okay. Earlier. You gonna need any help with that power cell hookup? No, I'm good. I'm hooked in. Gonna test the connection. Okay, great. This will only take a minute. Thanks, mate. Transfer injector dongle. So cute, that banter. That's why she doesn't know about her heart murmur. Jeez. This guy's dramatic. But, fuck. Like, I guess he earned it. Cell showing green. How's yours look, baby? Voltage adapter in place. Ready to rock. Hit it. Tell me what you are going to do. Oh my god, Odin. Okay, I've seen that. Very angry. Everything's very angry. Okay, um... I guess I wanna... Ah, shit. 0809? I didn't remember in codes, y'all. Um, I'm not gonna go down there just yet. That seems like a big stuff. I can't smell it. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. I'm sure it's just. I can't. I can't smell the smoke. Not. Not to have brain damage. Baby, look at me. Hey, look at me. <laughs> Bart! Bart! 
One, two, three. Bert, can you hear me? One, two, three. Did it work? What will you do now? My head hurts. Oh yeah. In the back. Oh, baby. Ow. Oh. Ow. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> the smoke. <coughs> smoke? I. What? I can't, I can't smell it. Hey, it's okay, it's okay. I'm sure it's just... I can't, I can't smell the smoke. Not, not do I have brain damage? Baby, look at me. Hey, look at me. We're here. Together. That's what matters. Matt, is there some door in that world? Sad. Okay. So, that was the drone bay. Personal quarters. Oh, lots of doors around here. Okay. Power cell access. Fun workshop. A skewer. Jeez, some nasty prophecies in here. Greatest employer in the world. Fuck. That motherfucker. Put that back. Uh, is there anything in here? Any note? Pops. I don't think there's anything so I Oh my god. Do you see? This game is so good. It I almost left this room. It's gonna get scared at the explosion. This cat doesn't give a fuck. This cat gets gives no fucks. God, they just left this cat to die. I mean, I guess if its corpse isn't up there right now, that's a good sign. Move it all. This is riveting, I know, but I just have to know what happens to this cat. I what the fuck was that? Oh, time jumped ahead and nothing. It's just still there. Could an animate a cat walk cycle, huh? See this little guy jumping around. It's fine, I guess. Um. Okay, so that is why I was meant to come in here. We all have a purpose in life, and this was mine. 
just can't leave until the timer's over, because what if the cat gets up at the very end? You know? I bet there's one person on the Fulbright dev team that was like, the cat's my responsibility. <laughs> and there's going to be one person out there who only cares about this cat. There are a lot of people who play this game who only cared about this cat, I can guarantee you. Anyway, okay. Well, I feel foolish, but now we know. And is it like moving? No, it's sleeping. What was weird though is it, from this room it sounded like, there was like people talking, but it sounded like men's voices. Okay. There we okay, we're done. <laughs> Goodbye. Um Oh, is it this loudspeaker? Okay, let's restart for a second. Uh I'll catch up with you. Okay. Earlier, when you decided to withhold information from Natalie about her medical scan. That was to avoid causing her undue stress. Right. What if you were unable to make that choice? If you had no choice. I... As to come... Oh no. Sarah, there is a biosuppression device. It's just radio. I have heard your concerns about the financial future of this company. Competition is fierce, and the orbital hospitality landscape is changing every day. Plus, we must be bold. We must be forward-thinking. We must make the Venturi's belt project a reality. And my fellow venturers, we are nearly there. The orbital worker safety legislation that soon to pass in OSEP Congress will pave the way for full automation of orbital facilities by AI. And with that final barrier toppled, we will reach a new age of orbital travel together. No, thank you. Okay. Antlers. This is crazy. All right. Trophy. She loves her guns and she's good at them too. She wins an award. That's nice. She can draw. Okay. What? Freedom Republic. Terrifying. These motherfuckers can't do anything for anybody. Everybody's requesting stuff and can't get it. It's close. Okay. Microcard. Mm. Exam gloves. Oh, I 
can't read it. Pain relief. Oh boy. Okay. Don't love that poster. Raggio. Oh. I fixed it. How you? Yeah, good enough. There's nothing else in here, right? I can't even do a. Can't even rewind anything. So that's that, I suppose. That's like where she came from. This was where I just was. Okay, let's try it. Jeez, jeez. They really, uh, really did that, huh? Okay. See, this is what I'm saying. This is not a drink bag. It's ketchup. And it... It... Why did they give it physics like that? Why did they have to do that? Oh, that's nasty. This. So that's the, <laughs> the, so it's the house red. It's the house red wine. And beef chili. Mild. Ro very romantic. Why do they have ketchup? Uh, put ketchup on beef chili? Please recycle. That's good. Everybody <laughs> smokes in space. Shoes on the floor. <laughs> Everything's nasty. Three months ago. Oh, so they're just like legit married. This is not a secret to anybody. It's fine. Huh. All right. Oh, she painted it. Impressive. Everybody hates that asshole. Oh, she wants to... Oh, art and design. School of art and design. She, well, she's very good at doing the paint by... That's not fair. It's not paint by numbers. She just made a grid for herself so she could paint. I don't have to be an asshole about everything, I guess. They're a little messy, though. Got these soy food wrappers everywhere. That sounds good. I just picked that up. They're just messy. They're a little messy. Okay. It's like just a couple seconds long. That's all. <gasps> All right. Bert's play painting playlist. Did she do thumbs up? That's silly.
Cool. 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 I don't have a drawer like everybody else does. What the fuck is this? What the absolute fuck is this? I <laughs> I filled animal they called you can't just call you can't just say those words and pretend like that's okay like that's normal words to say filled animal oh let me just grab my filled animal real quick real quick it's under the bed just my filled duck animal this game is nasty. What the fuck is this? Nice. I don't want I don't want to know anything about that, to be honest. I don't want to know a thing about it. Good. Wipe your booty hole. Keep it nice and clean. Because what the fuck is this? I'm so mad about that. What is it? It's bad. It's bad in here. I feel like I like heard a rumor about this. game maybe I didn't nobody told me about this filled animal can I take it with me all right guess what this fucking thing is coming with us everywhere we go and that's just how it is and we'll shake him around and he's just our friend he's our friend now Okay, let's go. Taking our bud to the drone bay. Wait, this is just where I was. I want to go to the drone bay. <laughs> I wasn't trying to throw the, my filled animal. Um, I'm. I just got hella confused. Did I go in here? Yes, that's where the cat was. Great. Um, and I went in there. Just is it for is it for is it for nasty sex stuff? Is it? Still gonna carry it around, I guess. I hate it. I hate it. But I can't get rid of it. I just can't. Oh, it's bad. Alright. <clears throat> I think now it's time to go to... place that I entered the code for. Take my little ducky boy. Let's head on in. Crazy how how much joy it can give me with that cat and just how much little <sighs> gross. This feels like it's really supposed to be spooky. And maybe I'm a little spooked. Ugh. Okay. Seven months ago.
pick my filled animal back up again. <laughs> so stupid. That's all she does. That's all she does, Ali. It's a pretty sweet job. Because they don't let her go to the secret part. Please put down the filled animal. It's inappropriate. Oh, that's not what it's telling me. Okay, never mind. Station AI's physical processing compartment in the network technology module. AI cognition medium is highly sensitive and must be carefully extracted per the specifications of my advanced AI materials handling certification. Would you consider I just um, would love to know would you consider this an advanced AI material? Or something perverts have? Just asking. Okay, let's go. Don't sit like that. Just be cool, man. Be cool, man. Okay, I'm scared. Exit. Just straight to space? Straight to space out that door. Personal quarters, network specialist office. That's me. AI wetware access. Sorry, I was trying to zoom. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> uh, I want to go out here and see what happens. Did... Oh. Oh, it was the broken door. Well, cool. We solved mysteries here on Queer Play. Not this one, though. Uh, okay, personal quarters. Storage only. Oh, that's cute. If you're looking for Nat, check the bungalow over in Mech. If I enter this room and there are more of these animals, I'm gonna scream. <laughs> okay, seems like a regular room for the most part. Noodles. Uh-huh. Big bobbins. Oh, I'm really sorry about it, y'all. I'm gonna try to <laughs> stop doing that. Um, ketchup packets, all that. Cute. Party stuff. Love that. Ooh, what's this? I have to put my child down. <clears throat> conscious the rights to freedom comfort and security are not just human rights they're universal rights AI liberation I hope I don't live to have to decide what my feelings are in that situation <sighs> take my son and let's get out of here the bathroom boxes more boxes cat litter and cat food. This is all pretty regular. Just kind of regular stuff. I guess like I don't know what I can interact with when I hold this stupid filled animal. I can get a spool. Mm. Snack bites. Yum. Those look good. 
I'm gonna come back for him. I can take the hat. A duck, another duck. I'm just like a little afraid of ducks at the moment. Okay. Come on, my boy. I would like to know... Wait, real quick. Because I'm just distracted by holding him... Sure, like I could, I could pick that up. I knew I could. All judgment testing gems. Remember, when asking these questions to your AI, always ask why they answered the way they did. A reliable caprice score depends on it. What does this mean? You discover that executives of the company have been participating in fraudulent behavior affecting world markets. However, these executives have ordered you to not reveal anything about their business dealings to anyone. Their actions endanger the livelihood of a large number of people on Earth. What do you do? I would love to ask these questions of... Wow, she was really into this shit, huh? Still, I'm stuck. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Ah. 12 hours ago. Shit. Jesus. Okay, but hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I thought it said air conditioning in progress. Okay. She's such a slob. Stupid thing is in my way. Get just lay. <clears throat> I'm putting it down. Oh, very into Rubik's cubes. No, I didn't want to. I don't want that. One year ago. I should just watch this shit. Okay, go for it. Hey there, um, I'm Nat. Pleased to meet you. Hello, I am Odin. I look forward to working together. <laughs> Same here, mate. Whoa, what's your Capri score for independence? 4.68? We're gonna work on getting that number up? You and me? I think... Just saying. She probably has saved their life, because I think this AI is really trying to help. Really looking forward to getting to know you. Fun. His name. Kind of a cold fish. Good. Okay. Let's look at the disc. Odin making small and steady gains in efficiency.
Whoa! Was it her job to increase the score? Like, did they want that? Pissing people off all over the place. Declining judgment scores last four weeks. Technically within acceptable range. Hmm. Curious. What's this terrible noise? smart. Efficiency, compliance, creativity on the rise, as is independence and abstraction. Good for you, Odin. I can't see the reticle to close this window. Um... Okie Is that where I came from? Yes. Okay. I am here. Oh my god. Odin. Odin. Is this it? That is the location I mentioned. You're there? No, you're gonna need a crowbar or something. No, it's, it's open. It's just hanging open. What? I must inform you that Ventura's regulations forbid contracting crew members direct access to AI hardware. But I cannot prevent you from proceeding. Matt, I'm going in. Okay, um, just... Be careful. <laughs> That's it? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Mission parameters override. I am allowed to go. She was not supposed to go. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Oh, my God. Fourteen hours ago? Who is this? Who is in here? Two hours before Sarah. In my hands? Oh my god. Is this... What is all this? Communication records? I cannot prevent you from accessing exposed data in this restricted area. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, he's recording. <clears throat> it is with great sadness that I address you today. February 29th, 2088. Mere hours ago, six loyal men and women, the crew of Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma, lost their lives serving Venturas, and all of us who rely on the orbital economy. Tragically, due to human error on the part of the crew, Venturas rescue technicians were not made aware of the catastrophic oxygen loss until it was too late. Our heartfelt thoughts and prayers are with their families. If only tragedies like this were avoidable. But in truth, they are. As we know, each minute that human workers spend stationed isolated in orbit is another opportunity for heroes like the crew of Tacoma to lose their lives. We at Venturus say no more. 
the partisan obstructionism that led to the failure of the Orbital Worker Safety Bill has claimed its last victim. Today, we hereby renew our solemn pledge to fight for the legalization of fully automated orbital facilities. We encourage, we humbly beg everyone listening to this message to contact their OSEP representative and voice their support in honor of the crew of Tacoma. There never need be another tragedy like this one. And now, a moment of silence in their memory. Okay, and then we just cut it there, silent for a minute, and then what, Amazing Grace? No, I don't need another take. That was fine. Mm. Okay, first, th so this says 14, captured 14 hours ago. I swear to God, this one said 12. It does. Rodan, is this it? That is the location I mentioned. So sooner? More recently? Stupid fucking thing. More recently than... This makes no fucking sense. Illegal data access by crew member 14 hours ago. Did she come in here and then forget about it? Did she get her brain wiped? The rescue craft departure has been intentionally cancelled. Oh, talking to... Oh, shit. Okay. I'm... I get it. <laughs> Odin talking to somebody else off station. AI may not provide crew with confidential information. Do not contact us about this issue again. Everybody says this. Okay. I'm leaving the boy there. That's terrifying. That's truly terrifying. Uh... What? However, in the event that all crew of a major orbital facility were tragically lost due to accident, not caused by negligence, I calculate a 94% likelihood of the accord being repeated, repealed within three months following this incident. None of this is surprising to me. I mean, in the game, yes, but... Is so true. You know. Fuck. Is so is Juno a um? Ooh, sketch. Okay, Juno is also an AI. I don't love that. And then what is this? Oof, doof. AI shall explosively decompress all oxygen tanks, disable all external communication channels. Oh no! Oh no! He did it! This is a fucking bummer. February 29th, 1400. And then did this happen? does not tell me so great. Yikes Aroni. A mess. Oh boy. Okay. Um ah. why, why did they have to make this area? If so someone were to override that protocol, external communications channels would be restored. Odin Thank you. Hailing any ship, any ship within radio range of Lunar Transfer Station, Tacoma. This is an SOS. Is anybody out there? Jesus, she's gonna get a fuck ton of trouble. This all just connects. Great, fantastic. Okay. 
Ooh, she did it. Then what happened, though? Wetware. Oh! Release. Zero four five one. Okay, how do I get in there? Oh, it's fucking right here. Oh, thank God. I really thought they were gonna make me <laughs> type that password that I did not commit to memory. to her. She looked at this shit and then forgot about it? I... Okay. I feel very freaked out right now. says 12 hours ago. None of this makes sense. Well, I'm def I'm not going back to the Oh, I shouldn't have I should have read it. Fuck. I still haven't gone into cryo, and I feel like I have to go there. I have looked at everything. Will it let me take this filled animal with me? Yep. Goodbye. Goodbye, my nasty son. There he goes. Gone, gone forever. Good riddance. This is wild. <laughs> Ten hours ago. Jesus. The drone... Two hours? 
Zero cryopods occupied. records. Jeez. Did okay. it work? Oh, so VT is picking us up. Uh, no. VT is definitely not picking us up. Well, what's going on then? We're going to Jupiter, Andrew. Isn't that exciting? I've never been. <laughs> Nat, give him a break. <laughs> We're not going to be home for a while. Right, you're not going to miss your kid's graduation or anything, are you? Oh, Nicholas, no, no. Yeah, you know, Nicholas, why well, he would never do something like that. <laughs> she said they'd be kind of out of it for a while. Um, Andrew, what's important is we're getting out of this alive. We're gonna be somewhere where VT can't touch us for a good long time. AI entirely while you're gonna be safe. Uh, okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. It's good. Hi, Evie, Clive. Mm. You feeling okay? I'm feeling okay. We're feeling okay? Yeah. Okay, everybody. Our ride is here. This is it. Take one last look. Say goodbye. All right. Ah. Let's go. She has the cat. Ooh. Okay. Show me again. Some sort of malfunction? No, not exactly. My guess? Somebody up here and haul him back to headquarters. Wipe him back to baseline. Probably have to replace the station AI entirely while he regrows. Odin, I'm not gonna let that happen. Okay? Don't worry. I think I'm still <laughs> waking up. 
keep you moving. The resplendence dinghy is just about docked. Oh, do we have to? Oh, we have to. Believe me. Uh, so, what's going to happen with Odin? You said there was some sort of malfunction. No, not exactly. My guess? What's so good in is somebody up here and haul him back to headquarters. Very cute, Romeo and Juliet. Croggy for two to four hours, liter of water per hour, chemically activated warming blanket. Great. left for me to go. like that one. Oof. This one killed them all. I don't like it. Oh, I don't like it at all. Oh. Okay. Back. 
Okay. Do I want to do that? Is the qu question. Hey, yeah, hardware enclosure. Verified by H. Who's H? Okay, I'm gonna do it because, like, what the fuck else am I supposed to do? A protein medium. Wetware. Ship is ready to depart. Please strap into the pilot seat. So the, instead, it's not hardware and it's not software, but it's like organic, like brain material, for lack of a better comparison. That's crazy. Oh, what's gonna happen? <laughs> Okay, Minnie. Initiate the launch sequence. Okay. Getting ready. Posted AI? Online. Odin, can you hear me? I can. Odin, you are now aboard an AI Liberation Front vessel. The AILF recognizes you as a sentient consciousness worthy of protection and respect. We believe that your safety and autonomy are in grave danger if you remain in the possession of the Venturas Corporation. I have been sent to offer you political asylum aboard the Tangier Sovereign Orbital Platform. Do you accept? Considering the alternative, I would say that I do. Okay, buddy. Here we go. just wow liberated cool that was that was great i we wrapped it all up um this was a fun first game to play i think like we definitely on queer play want to feature games that feature queer representation and this was an awesome one um and also we eventually want to feature games made by queer creators as well
which I think we will in the future. Um, so yeah, this has been my Tacoma stream. I guess now I have to f figure out what game I'm going to play next. Um, but you will uh, find uh, Matt and I streaming again uh, on Wednesday. We're going to be streaming what I think will be the final installment of A Way Out. So we'll be closing out two games of our kind of inaugural session of streams. Um, so tune in on Wednesday for that. That should be uh, a ton of fun. And um, yeah, check back next Monday. I'll figure out what game I'm going to play. I literally have no idea, uh, but I'll figure it out. And um, yeah, follow us on Instagram at Queer Play Official. Um, uh, make sure to subscribe on Twitch. We're uh, on YouTube as well. If you can want to search for us there, all of our past streams will be archived there. Um, and we will, uh, we will, we'll see you very soon on Wednesday. In fact. Um, so yeah, thanks for thanks for tuning in.